Initially, I was skeptical about using the telepresence robot for the fact that we use Skype and Adobe Connect to bring students into our classes and it allows them to see the full class, it allows them to also do small group activity. But over the past week, it's been really interesting working with this device because it kind of thinking about that whole notion of presence that, you know, as um, Luciano has been motoring around and we've been encountering different groups, it's interesting how people react to it, as well as that ability for Luciano to have control about where he goes and what he wants to see as opposed to what's projected on a big screen. So, for example, the other day, you know, when he couldn't hear it, he rolled up to the front. Or if he wanted to join a group, he could actually roll up and be part of a group as opposed to just being, you know, left on the big screen. So I think that ability to have your own autonomy, have control about where you join and participate is great. There are still some things to think about in terms of how uh, this device works. For example, the internet connection as they move from one space to the other, that impacts speed and where um, it can travel to. The other component with this one is sound especially in a very large room, it's hard sometimes to hear that conversation back and forth. Or the ability of when you have to move from you know, one floor to the next, um, taking the elevator or changing buildings. And so that gets us thinking about how you have to have a buddy or somebody else that would travel with our uh, traveling student, shall we say here. And just to make sure that they're able to get there successfully. Luciano, you know, from your experience with this, what have you found? So I think uh, for me, being the, the other end, as you mentioned, there are some challenges with the technology, but uh, ability to have mobility, to, to go where I want to go, instead of just asking people to move the screen around, it really adds to, to the conversation. So when you cannot attend a meeting, but you still have wheels, so they can turn around, you can see people instead of just uh, relying on uh, somebody else. So it really provides a great uh, flexibility in terms of uh, the communication and the way you can engage in the sessions. So I think it, even though the technology is still not perfect, it really adds to what we have in terms of just simple Skype conversations. How is it to drive it around? Because, I mean, you're navigating it from basically uh, up-down arrows, correct, from your own keypad? Exactly. Exactly. So it, uh, the interface is pretty easy. So it's basically a web browser interface or an iPad app. And I just have uh, directional arrows that I can drive it. So it's very natural. Uh, the only challenge is because it uses the iPad camera, it has a very narrow view. So I have to re actually re uh, rely on who's guiding me, uh, who's guiding the, the robot so, so that I can actually not bump into walls or people's feet because I don't have the view of, uh, of surroundings. So it can be a challenge, but with a little bit of training, you can do that. I think that ability of flexibility, having some control over it is really a, a great piece with it. So I think it's going to be interesting uh, using this and working more with this particular device to see how it can fit into the work that we do here in the Workland School of Education.